NASA's Space Launch System, SLS, has absorbed over $30 billion in investment over 14 years. This substantial funding, intended for a powerful launch vehicle, has yielded mixed results. SLS, designed by Boeing, faces significant challenges, even potentially threatening cancellation. Critics, including SpaceX CEO Elon Musk, have voiced concerns regarding its exorbitant cost and lack of reusability. The project's performance has fallen short of expectations, raising questions about its efficacy and long-term viability. This massive expenditure has fueled debates over the efficiency of NASA's investment strategy and its ability to compete in the evolving space race. The project's future hangs in the balance, facing increasing scrutiny regarding its cost-effectiveness and potential return on investment. Concerns about the project's sustainability and the feasibility of achieving its intended objectives are growing. The ongoing debate surrounding SLS highlights the critical need for evaluating the project's potential and alternative solutions. Designed by Boeing, SLS is intended for human return to the moon via the Artemis program and subsequent missions to Mars. However, rising costs and persistent delays cast a shadow over its future. A 2023 NASA Inspector General report revealed development costs exceeding $23 billion. Projected total costs, including Artemis missions, are estimated to surpass $30 billion. Each SLS launch carries a hefty price tag of roughly $4.1 billion, a significant contrast to SpaceX's Falcon 9, costing only $67 million. This substantial price difference fuels doubts about SLS's efficiency and cost-effectiveness. The immense financial commitment raises questions about whether the projected return on investment justifies the considerable expenditures. The substantial cost per launch, coupled with ongoing delays, makes the project's economic viability increasingly questionable. The project's perceived value and potential for success are being weighed against its substantial and escalating costs. SpaceX's Starship stands as a stark contrast to SLS, showcasing superior cost-effectiveness and reusability. Starship's projected launch costs are significantly lower, potentially reaching two to three million dollars, compared to SLS's billion-dollar price tags. This dramatic difference in cost highlights a crucial aspect of the evolving space race, the prioritization of affordability and efficiency. Starship's advanced technology and larger payload capacity further cement its competitive edge. This has led to a shift in perspective among some aerospace experts. Former SLS supporters like Scott Pace have begun to question the project's continued viability in light of private sector alternatives. The emergence of cost-effective and innovative solutions from private companies like SpaceX raises questions about the long-term relevance of government-funded projects with comparable goals but higher financial burdens. This shift in perspective underscores the profound impact of private sector innovation on the future of space exploration. SLS faces significant competition in the space race, particularly from emerging spacefaring nations like China. The implications of SLS's performance and potential cancellation are substantial. China's advancements in space technology pose a growing challenge to the United States. The outcome of this competition will significantly impact the global landscape of space exploration, resource allocation, and technological advancement. SLS's struggles in meeting its ambitious goals raise questions about the United States' ability to maintain its position as a leader in space exploration. The potential cancellation of SLS highlights the challenges inherent in large-scale government projects, especially in the face of rapid innovation and competition. This competitive environment necessitates a reevaluation of resource allocation and prioritization strategies for future space endeavors. The performance of SLS, therefore, is not just a matter of national pride, but also a test of the United States' continued technological dominance and adaptability in the face of global competition. The future of SLS remains uncertain, with some experts predicting a 50-50 chance of cancellation due to escalating costs and outdated technology. Starship emerges as a potential replacement, but the significant investment already made in SLS makes a complete abandonment challenging. A cancellation would necessitate a reassessment of NASA's funding strategy and potentially a shift towards collaborations with private companies. The alternative is to explore innovative solutions to adapt SLS for reusability, mirroring Starship's design. 
This would involve significant redesign and potentially require a substantial influx of additional funds. The question is not just whether SLS will continue, but how NASA will adapt its strategies to remain competitive in the evolving space sector. The choice will shape future space exploration efforts, dictating whether NASA embraces private partnerships or clings to its existing, potentially costly approach. Ultimately, NASA's response will significantly influence the future direction of space exploration. The CELES situation highlights a crucial paradigm shift in space exploration. While NASA invests heavily in SLS, private companies like SpaceX are reshaping the sector with innovative solutions. Starship's advantages in cost, technology, and capability directly challenge SLS's future. The choice facing NASA, continuing investment in SLS or adapting to alternative approaches, will significantly impact its trajectory. A complete cancellation of SLS would necessitate substantial changes in funding priorities, perhaps leading to partnerships with private entities. Alternatively, NASA could seek to retrofit SLS with reusable technologies, potentially incurring significant additional costs. The outcome will define whether NASA embraces the dynamism of private sector innovation or clings to a more traditional, potentially costly model. Ultimately, NASA's decision will dictate the nation's position in the ongoing space race and the direction of future space exploration efforts. NASA still pursuing Boeing Starliner certification. NASA says it wants to stick with the Boeing CST-100 Starliner to give the space agency options in case the SpaceX Dragon system encounters problems. NASA last year had to lean on the SpaceX system when it experienced technical issues with Starliner during a crew flight test, CFT, that turned a days-long mission into a months-long saga. The propulsion issues drove NASA to return the Boeing capsule to Earth uncrewed and make astronauts Barry Wilmore and Sunita Williams part of the International Space Station ISS crew. They returned to Earth March 18th, along with NASA's Crew-9 Dragon Commander, Nick Haig, and Russian cosmonaut Alexander Gorbunov. This is a lesson learned, says Joel Montalbano. NASA's Space Operations Mission Director at Deputy Associate Administrator. When we have Boeing and SpaceX flying on a regular basis, we need to be able to do the opposite too. If we come up on a SpaceX vehicle and have a problem, it would be bringing people home on a Boeing vehicle. Both NASA and Boeing are pressing ahead with efforts to certify the Starliner capsule to join SpaceX's reusable Crew Dragon capsule for regularly scheduled crew launches to the ISS agency officials noted following the Safe Crew 9 splashdown. NASA and Boeing are pursuing agency commercial crew program certification by addressing the post-launch overheating of the Starliner's reaction control system thrusters, which followed several helium leaks in the hardware that pressurizes the propellant flow to those thrusters, as well as the larger orbital maneuvering system and attitude control thrusters. The leaks were traced to seals that had degraded due to exposure to corrosive propellants. When we look forward, what we would like to do is one flight and then get into a crew rotation flight, Steve Stitch, NASA's commercial crew program manager, responded when questioned about Starliner plans during a post-splashdown briefing hosted by NASA's Johnson Space Center. So the next flight up would really test all the changes we are making to the vehicle, and then the next flight beyond that. We really need to get Boeing into the crew rotation. So that is kind of the strategy. When asked whether the next Starliner launch would have crew on board, his response was uncertain. When we look back at the CFT, we got a lot of good data out of that flight with having a crew on board, Stick said. Really, the next thing we need to go test is the propulsion system and the service module. We need to make sure we can eliminate the helium leaks, eliminate the service module issues we had on docking. The rest of the vehicle performed really well. However, he noted Starliner could be test flown again without crew. Stick praised Boeing as being very committed to Starliner and intent on having a role in a growing low Earth orbit economy. They realize they have an important vehicle and that we are very close to having these capabilities that we would like to feel, he said. I think we have some changes we need to make to the way we heat those thrusters, the way we fire those thrusters, and then we can test those on the next flight. NASA is looking to retire the ISS in 2030 and transitioning its growing scientific research and technology development activities to multiple commercially owned and operated space stations. Montalbano noted that since November 2000, the ISS has been continuously staffed by rotating crews of astronauts and cosmonauts, 
launched initially aboard now-retired NASA space shuttles and currently aboard Russian Soyuz capsules that were joined by the SpaceX Dragon in 2020. It just shows the flexibility we have with the space station and our commercial partners, Montalbano said. We have a luxury we didn't have in the past. The 10 most exciting space missions happening this year. NASA's Artemis III mission is poised to mark a monumental return to the moon, echoing the historical Apollo landings. Set for late 2025, this mission aims to land astronauts at the lunar South Pole, a region believed to be rich in ice a vital resource for future exploration. With the robust Space Launch System SLS rocket and the Orion spacecraft at its core, Artemis III will not only explore the lunar surface, but will also lay groundwork for long-term lunar habitation. This mission is a stepping stone towards NASA's vision of sending humans to Mars. By focusing on sustainable exploration, Artemis III is expected to conduct pivotal scientific experiments. Furthering our understanding of the Moon and preparing for deeper space missions, the leaked information and its potential impact. A significant leak has emerged concerning NASA's Space Launch System, SLS, potentially exposing a major issue affecting the rocket's core stage. Initial reports, circulating through unofficial channels and picked up by independent space news outlets, suggest a critical manufacturing defect. The precise nature of this defect remains undisclosed, but preliminary indications point to a problem of considerable magnitude. This could range from requiring extensive repairs and costly delays to a complete redesign of the core stage, or even a complete cancellation of the SLS program, depending on the severity of the flaw. The leak adds another layer of complexity to the already troubled SLS program, which has been plagued by cost overruns, schedule delays, and technical difficulties. This new revelation casts a shadow over the Artemis program, NASA's ambitious plan to return humans to the moon. The leak underscores the inherent challenges in large-scale aerospace projects, demanding transparency and rigorous quality control at every stage of development. It also raises questions about the long-term viability of the SLS program, potentially jeopardizing its role in future lunar and planetary missions, the implications are far-reaching, impacting not only the immediate future of Artemis, but also future missions and NASA's overall space exploration strategy. Implications for Artemis in the future of SLS. The potential manufacturing defect in the SLS core stage has significant implications for the Artemis program. Delays and cost overruns resulting from addressing this issue could drastically impact the planned missions potentially pushing back the timeline for returning astronauts to the lunar surface. This uncertainty also casts a long shadow over NASA's broader plans for lunar and potentially Martian exploration. The integrity of the entire SLS program could be questioned, with the possibility of significant redesign or even its complete abandonment. This leak highlights the importance of meticulous quality control and transparency in large-scale projects. Furthermore, the event underscores the complexity and inherent risks associated with ambitious space endeavors. The revelation highlights the delicate balance between technological ambition and the practical considerations of budget, schedule, and safety. The future trajectory of the Artemis program and NASA's overall space exploration plans now depend on the specifics of the problem and NASA's response. The unfolding story raises a fundamental question can NASA maintain the momentum and credibility of its space program amidst these unexpected challenges?